So get this, for just one weekend, Google basically handed over the keys to its AI kingdom. They let anyone, and I seriously mean anyone, build their own custom AI apps completely for free. It was wild. So let's break down exactly what happened with this crazy limited time opportunity. You know, it's a question that usually feels like pure science fiction, right? You've got this awesome idea for an AI tool, but then you think, oh, I can't code or I don't have the money or the resources for that. Well, what if all of those barriers just poof, disappeared for a little while? Yeah, that's right. This wasn't some what if scenario. It actually happened. For one weekend, Google just flipped a switch and made it a reality for anyone who was in the know. It was a total blink and you'll miss it kind of thing, but the implications, man, they are huge. Okay, so let's get into the specifics. What exactly was this opportunity? Well, for just one weekend, Google rolled out a temporary free tier for its super powerful AI. And the source material gave it this kind of fun, quirky name, the Nano Banana Update. So what that really means is that Google opened up free access to its Gemini 2.5 Flash Image API. Now that might sound technical, but here's the bottom line. Instead of you just using AI tools made by the big guys, you could suddenly build your own. You could tap right into Google's amazing image generation engine. And the best part, no credit card needed, just pure creation. And this, this is where things get really interesting. Because this wasn't some small update just for seasoned developers. Oh no, this was basically an open invitation to everyone. If you had an idea, you could become a creator. It totally leveled the playing field. I mean, check out this quote from the source material. It just perfectly sums up the magic of the whole thing. The complexity, totally hidden away. You didn't need a fancy degree in computer science. All you needed was an idea and a simple way to describe it. Okay, so the big question is, how did this all actually work? You're probably picturing this super complicated technical setup that takes days, right? Nope. The real genius was just how simple it was. The entire process boiled down to just three super simple steps. All right, before we jump into those steps, there's just one little techie thing we got to cover. The API key. And seriously, don't let the name freak you out. The best way to think of it is like a unique password, or maybe even better, like a secret handshake. It's how your app proves to Google, hey, it's me. I'm allowed to talk to your AI. So once you had that secret handshake, the rest was... Honestly, it was shockingly simple. Step one, you just pop over to Google's AI studio and grab your free key. Step two, you write a sentence, just a simple plain English sentence describing the app you want to build. And then step three, you just sit back and watch. Gemini literally writes all the code and builds a working app for you right there in seconds. Okay. Talking about it is one thing, but seeing it in action is what makes it all click. So let's look at a real-world example from the source material to see how this actually played out. And this example is just perfect. It shows the incredible power of that simple three-step process. So someone had an idea. Hey, I want an app that can analyze handwriting. They typed out a single sentence prompt. And the result? A legit, fully functional tool. You could upload a picture of your handwriting and it would spit out a whole analysis. It even recommended what kind of pen to buy. I mean, talk about a perfect little tool for an e-commerce store or for affiliate marketing, right? But that handwriting app? That was just scratching the surface. The possibilities were, well, they were endless. People went wild over that weekend. They built tools to make custom mafia movie posters, design their own football uniforms, create virtual try-ons for expensive clothes, and yeah, of course, a bunch of tools to automatically create YouTube thumbnails. The only real limit was your own imagination. But look, building one-off apps was cool, but it was still just scratching the surface. For people who wanted to take it a step further, this free access unlocked something way more powerful. We're talking about automating entire creative workflows. So what's the difference, right? Well, think of a simple app as a one-shot deal. You give it a prompt, it gives you back one thing, like an image. An AI automation, though, that's like a whole assembly line. You could have Gemini create an image and then automatically send that image over to another service, like Runway, to turn it into a video. All of it happening without you having to click a single thing. It's about stringing these powerful AI tools together to do complex, creative work for you. So this whole nano banana thing, it was just for one weekend. It was this quick, temporary peek into a very different kind of future. But it leaves us with this really fascinating question, doesn't it? 
Was this just a little weekend experiment from Google? Or was this the first real sign that the power to create with AI is about to be put into everyone's hands? I mean, what happens to the world when you don't need to be a coder to be a creator anymore? Now that's something to think about.